Thank you for stopping by my channel and checking out this video today. Once again, I am starting another project. Uh, I'm I'm uh, losing my mind, I think, because I'm barely hanging on with my other projects. But every time I see updates of, of projects I really want to join, like this one, I just can't sit back and just enjoy watching everybody else. I want to be a part of it. And when this one came out, the creator Mari, uh, Patriot Makeup, um, I told her immediately on, on her video about the project that oh, I want to do this so bad, but I'm, I'm just not ready to join yet. And she says, you can join at any time. Um, so that's what I'm doing. This project is called Musical Pans. It is a project for those who really are passionate and basically music is life. I have no talent, more like I have no uh, patience to learn instruments and such. I've tried learning guitar. My guitar now lives at my dad's because he actually will play it and you know, He's, he's really good at learning. He can just watch like a, an instruction video and learn it. I have a hard time and I can't keep my fingers on the, the strings tight enough because it hurts so bad. I have arthritis. So yeah. Um, so my favorite instrument is definitely a guitar. Every song I, I immediately hear the guitar over everything else. I actually have a problem remembering lyrics in songs because I'm constantly listening to the instruments rather than the singer. So yeah, I love music deeply. I've been around music my whole life. My, my dad is the reason I love music. He always had a playing. He actually was in a band when he was a teenager. Um, my mom has never been that much into music until later in life. And then she was gotten really into country during the 90s and went country dancing. But she needed me to teach her where the beat was in the songs because she couldn't hear it. And you need that to know where you're stepping. Like she did the two step, the um, quick step, stuff like that in country dancing. And you need to know where the beat is. So I had to teach her where to hear the beat so she still can't hear <laughs> can't, she has she has no rhythm she can't hear it but that girl can dance she can dance once she hears the song and you teach her the song where the like teach her where the beat is for the, the steps she's got it she's good but um yeah it's so weird to have two different aspects from parents <laughs> like one who's like passionate and all about it like it's his heartbeat the other no rhythm can't hear the beat <laughs> so I got lucky and I'm on the passionate love but I have no patience I'm rambling I love music I could talk forever I'm so sorry uh I guess I should just get into it oh I have something I hold on mm, let's see what else should I tell you Mari made I'm sorry if I don't say your name right I think is it Mari Mari or Mari I don't I'm sorry. Patriot Makeup, who I adore. She's an amazing human being. I mean, you can tell people going through hard times really affect her. Um, like, she feels it, even though she doesn't know you. She, like, with what's going on in the world, she feels it. And I think it's amazing. I mean, I'm the same way. I just have a hard time expressing my feelings without being really emotional. Like I am so sensitive that I cry on the drop of a dime. So I don't talk about that stuff on my channel. Believe me, I feel for the Ukraines. I hate what's happening all over the world these days. There's so much negativity and evil in this world where it's so much easier to be kind and, you know, give, the shirt off your back if you have to to somebody rather than take it from them you know what i mean like i it it hurts me too and if i get into it i'll start crying so i'm not going to we're gonna stop there she's a wonderful human being she has a lot of heart she has a lot of animals which i love even more because 
love all her animals. I wish I could have as many as she has. I have two cats and a dog, but I wish I had a whole farm. I mean, if I could have a whole farm, I would, if rest, I want to have a sanctuary of all, like, all the animals that need love and care and rescuing. <laughs> but there, I, I don't have that kind of money <laughs> or space. Um, anyways, she made, um, uh, Category, uh, decades of the 1940s to the 2020s three songs in each decade she's leaving this open to your interpretation you can choose which song you want from each decade you can do like she's doing it where you take each song um work on the first song in the decade and then when you finish that product you go to the next song in the decade which i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it the way mari's doing it except for one decade I had to skip because I couldn't figure out what to bring in. I was like, I don't know. I, it took me over an hour to figure out these the products I was bringing in for this last night. So yeah, trust me, I was really trying hard to figure out what to do for each song. Uh, let's see, I'm sure I'm missing things. I'm so sorry. I'm excited about being a part of this. And so my brain, and I wanna say, I've realized while editing all my videos, I come off kind of like an airhead. <laughs> you know what? As soon as that camera turns on, everything I have, I want to say, all the words that I can use on any other ba on any other time of the day, leave me. I, f I feel like I become a complete moron when the record button gets hit. <laughs> so thank you for still coming by, even though I come off as a complete airhead half the time. <laughs> um, anyways. I'm still rambling. We haven't gotten into this yet. And it's already been, crap, eight minutes. So I'm gonna leave all the information below. There's a playlist for you to listen to all the songs, which I love every song on this list. So that was another reason why I wanted to be a part of it. I have a very eclectic love of music. Um, say. She also said that you can add your own songs to the decades. I would love to do that. However, I don't think I'm even going to get through all of these since I'm starting so late. This started in January and I think it ends January 2023. Now, if she plans on bringing it back with more prompts, I would be thrilled and I will restart all over again. But if she doesn't plan on bringing it back, I think I'm going to keep going until I've hit every prompt. Because... I came in late and I really wanted to be a part of this from the get-go and I know I, I'm not very good at moving quickly through my products. So this is going to be, it's going to take a while for me to get to the next um, prompts. So let me know, uh, Mari, if you plan on starting it over again with new prompts or is it cool that I just keep on going till I finish it? <laughs> All right, so... Uh, like I said, I'll put all the information below. I'm sorry I'm all over the place. There's a playlist for you to listen to if you don't know the songs. There's a... I'll leave the the document that has all the prompts. I will leave Mari's channel, her, her um, video about the project. She explains it way better than I could ever. And I'll put her, her introduction, her intro in, in the bio down below in the bio. <laughs> All right, I swear, this time I'm gonna start. We are starting with the 1940s, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry by Hank Williams. This is for a cry-proof uh, item. And I thought I had at least a couple of mascaras that were cry-proof cry or waterproof. Uh, the only thing I could find was this Clinique Fit workout 24-hour mascara and when I looked it up it says it's supposed to be smudge proof so to me that's cry proof this is no longer made this is how old it is I don't know if it's going to be any good for me to use it's never been open I'm trying to see if you can hopefully it's I'm hoping it's um that was clear and not blurry <laughs> I want to use this up and once like I said if it's not good anymore or my eyes have a reaction to it then I'm just gonna I'll I'll try to find something else but I really don't I have nothing else that's uh, waterproof so 
Um, I don't know what I'd bring in, but I will figure it out if this doesn't work. Hopefully this works. The sticker just came off. So we're going to use this up. It's never been used. Fingers crossed it's still good. The next prompt is for 1950s Walk the Line, Johnny Cash. Woo woo! I'm like, can you see? Can you see? I'm wearing my... I have so many Johnny Cash shirts. I love that man. Um... There's a, there's a lot of members, uh, band members and musicians on this list that I'm like, I love. <laughs> so <laughs> you're going to hear that a lot. So for uh, Johnny Cash, Walk the Line, it's an eye or lip pencil. I have <laughs> already put in a lot of eye pencils in my projects. And I think I have two lip pencils. No, I only have one lip pencil. But I went with another liner, eyeliner. And that's going to be for... Um, ColourPop 4 from ColourPop. It's a Kerm gel liner in Get Paid. I've used this, but I, and it's broken. It's my first broken one. I hear about it all the time. So I'm not going to roll it up all the way. If you can tell, it's bloop, bloop. Um, I just, I'm just going to put a usage goal on this. Let's see if you can see the color. I love this. I used to use it all the time, but then I just stopped for some reason. So there's the color. I think this will go well with the... I think this will be a perfect eyeliner for the bottom lash line. For most of the eye palettes I have in my eye, eyeshadow palette roulette. So we're going to use this 10 times. And it will take me a while to hit 10 times because I have other eyeliners I have to use. But I'm going to do some usage goals and some use up goals so I can get through the prompts, but I also want to be fair. <laughs> I don't want to be just all like, oh, five here, five there, and then, you know, not really give things a, a good chance. So the next thing is um, Bad, oh, 1960s Bad Moon Rising from CCR Credence Clear Water Review. I always have a hard time saying that. This is one of my dad's favorite bands. So I know a lot of songs from this from this band and I love them. I mean, I grew up on them, so I love them. This is a nighttime item and I chose this little Laneige lip sleeping mask. This is that bubblegum smelling one. I don't like the smell of it. No, I don't like it. I have used it a little bit and there's only like a little a little bit in there, but it's taking me forever to get through this. I, t I forget to use it sometimes at night. Um, but maybe with this being in here, I will be able to get through it quicker because I do want to use this up. Uh, the Laneige Sleep Mask, lip mask, I want to use up. It's been started, but like I said, not a whole lot of use so far. So it'll take me a while to get through that, I'm sure. Uh, the 1970s September by Earth, Wind & Fire. How can you not love this song? So good. Though, did, does anybody else not know the words like me? I'm like... Don't know the words. And then I'll go, September. <laughs> I don't know the words. I cannot remember the words for the life of me. And I've heard that song since I was a little girl. So, <laughs> Anyways, the... Item that makes you feel good. It's so sad how long it took me to figure out an, a product for this. So, I'm taking it as an item that makes me relax. I feel good after I use it. And I don't do it often. I don't take the time to just relax and enjoy like a mask and stuff. So... I'm even worse with sheet masks, and I have a lot of them. I just, when I was looking through to find a, sheet, a couple of sheet masks, these are all the same. This was a, came in a box, some subscription box, probably BoxyCharm, I don't know. Um, this one's one of the, one of the few that have not expired yet because I forget to use them because it takes time. Um, so I'm going to use all five of these, but that says on the back, uh, da, 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 da. You leave it on for 15 minutes. Remove mask. Rub in the excess product directly onto your skin. Best 
for best results, use weekly. So this is going to take me five weeks to use, um, if I even remember to use them every week. So, and it's 15 minutes. I'm like, oh my God, I have to sit still for 15 minutes. <laughs> That's going to be the real challenge. So this is for the 1970s Earth, Wind & Fire September. We're going to use all five of these, hopefully. I'll put these back in here. All right, here's the prompt I'm going to have to skip. And I'm so mad because I love Stevie Ray Vaughan. My love may be because of John Mayer, who is the love of my life. And we're going to get married someday. He just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> but he is a fanatic for... Um, he's a huge Steve, Stevie Ray Vaughan fan. He even has a tattoo of his initials on his arm. So, yeah he and I can understand why I'm like they're both amazing guitar players they could both just sit on a stage playing just guitar and having no lyrics or anything and you know what I'd be totally cool with that and if you've been to a John Mayer <laughs> concert you know he does end up making all of his like four minute songs into eight to ten minutes long because he does all these like um guitar solos that were not originally part of the song like he just lets it lets himself go and just plays and it's the best anyways let me stop talking about john and let's go on to this prompt that prompt was project you're proud of and i could not find a single thing that would be like i there's nothing i'm proud of of my makeup and i was trying to think well what am i proud of that like i learned how to do and now i know how to do it and i mastered it well i haven't gotten there yet either so after agonizing on what to use and if somebody has suggestions please let me know and i will do this prompt the next time around if i can figure out what to do for that prompt because i'm skipping that one right now and i'm going to do bob marley three little birds which another great song I'm, again i'm gonna say that about every freaking song because i love every song she chose so for the three little birds it's an item worry that you, is, you don't have to worry about, like you're worry free once you use this item. So I decided the best thing to use that would make me feel protected and worry free is sunscreen. Now, the one I wanted to bring in, still super goop, was the play one and it expired like six months ago. The, these things just sit around and I don't use them. I have a face moisture, uh, sunscreen that I use from Sunbum and it doesn't break me out. So I, and I don't, it works fine under makeup when I use it. And then I have a body one from Neutrogena. So it's like, I have those that I, I, that I feel secure with and I've never used super goop stuff, but I know everybody seems to love them. I'm not going to put this on my face, even though it's the glow screen. It still has, when is it? I forget, I can't read it now, but I was able to see it last night, but I still have plenty of time to use this one. I'm probably, cause it's getting really hot here in Florida. I'm gonna be using my pool soon. I thought I was gonna use it today, but it's still just slightly not warm enough for me to get into that water. So um, I'm gonna use this when I get in the pool. I am not putting it on my face, but I will put it on my neck my decollete, whatever you call it, the chest, <laughs> um, that air kind of area to use up. But um, yeah, I, I have very sensitive skin. I don't want to take the chance that this is going to react. And I already have a face one that I, that I'm good with. So I'm just going to do that. So I want to use this up. Uh, but it's going to take a while because it's going to be only when I go to use the pool and I usually only use the pool on weekends and it hasn't been warm enough for me to get in yet, but this will get used once that time comes. Again, let me know if you have any suggestions for a product you're proud of. Like I want to be able to use, um, Pride and Joy from Stevie Ray Vaughan because I love I love him and I want to be able to do every single prompt. I just couldn't come up with one for that. Hmm. So, 1990s, Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. OMG. 
I was obsessed. I had the hugest crush on Lars, the drummer. Um, <laughs> and it was like, this was when I was in junior high and all the guys were into like Metallica, Guns N' Roses. I was already into Guns N' Roses in the 80s, but um, yeah, I got into Metallica because the boys I had crushes on were into them. So I started listening to them. I'm like, oh yeah, I can see why you love them. So I was, I, I was a diehard fan during the 90s. Um, this is a great song. I think everybody agrees that's a great song. Item you'll miss when it's gone. Okay. The only thing I could think of that I am going to be bummed about <laughs> when it runs out, and I have been um, taking my time with this to not use it up, it's my fresh soy, soy flake. Let's try that again, shall we? Fresh soy face cleanser. Um, and I think, let me put it up to the window. Yeah, I think I'm like here. So I'll mark it when this is over. Um, this is expensive. And I got this on sale. I used, I've had the small ones that come in like little kits or for, you know, Sephora points and I used all those up. And then when I finally saw this go on sale, I finally bought it, but I'm not going to be able to buy it again until, till it, till it goes on sale. If it goes on sale. Um, and I have a ton of cleansers I need to get through. So once this is gone, I'm going to be a sad girl because this is like my favorite face wash. Um, yeah, we're going to use it up. <laughs> I'm going to force myself. And yeah, I'll be really sad when it's gone. And uh, once I get through my thousands of cleansers, I will hopefully be able to buy that again. Um, the next one is for the 2000 So Fresh So Clean from Outkast. They were such a fun group. I wish they were still putting music out. Um, this is item that makes you feel put together. So as I've gotten older, now I didn't, I'm doing, I'm bringing in a brow product. I didn't do anything with my brows until I hit my mid twenties. No, it was in my early thirties. A friend of mine who loved makeup, we're not, we don't really talk anymore. You know, when you grow up, your friends change. I miss her. Um, she was really into makeup and she was like, Amy, you need to pluck your eyebrows. And I'm like, why? What's wrong with them? I've never touched them. Uh, so I started plucking my eyebrows. And then I realized, oh man, I got a lot of gaps. I need to start filling in my eyebrows. So I didn't start using a um, brow pencil until my 30s. Didn't pluck my eyebrows till so my 30s. I still haven't found the perfect eyebrow pencil. I'm too lazy for powders and pomades, even though I have them from beauty boxes. I'm still a... Uh, pencil girl. Um, I'm going to use, I, I want to use this up. I've been using this for months. Uh, it's the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. And we only have this much left. I can't tell if that's focusing or not because it didn't look like it. But anyways, we're going to use this up. It's going to probably take a while because the only time I do my, oh, once again, there's a hair. Seriously. Don't take a shot every time I say cat hair because <laughs> you'll be drunk by the end. Uh, yeah, we're going to use that up. Does anybody else always think, uh, like, do you, when, when you're, like, talking to someone and something pops in your head, do you start singing it? Like, I'll, I'll always go, so fresh, so clean, clean. Or, <laughs> um, the, I always go, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it like a Polaroid. <laughs> I love Outcast. I'm always like, I still to this day will just throw those out there to people and they're like, what? <laughs> I do that with a lot of songs. Um, and I also will make up my own songs and be like, I would live in a musical and start singing out of nowhere when I'm training people at work, which I'm about to start this week again with four more people. I'm like, all right, I just need you to know off the top that one, I'm a dork. Uh, 
I will break out into song. <laughs> um, at any moment in time, I will make up my own songs. I, like, I, I make sound effects. So I'm always like having to warn new people. <laughs> Like, I'm, I'm a little weird, uh, just want you to know, so you can just be like, okay, whatever, moving on. <laughs> Alrighty, I think we only have three, no, two more things. So, the next one is 2010's Tennessee Whiskey from Chris T Stapleton. Now, this is not his song. I don't think a lot of people know that, but he covered it, and he did a damn good job. Like, I put this song on repeat to this day. Like, I have a playlist on Spotify that's called Now. And those are the ones that I repeat over and over and over again. And this song is still sitting in there. I also loved when him and Justin Timberlake performed it on, I think it was like the CMAs or something one year. So good. So good. Um, so the prompt is a smooth item or something that makes your skin smooth. I decided to bring in... The Tuscan Hills Body Butter Fresh Lavender. This was given to me by my best friend, I believe. Um, I'm not really one that buys these kinds of things, but I always love that I get them if it's a good scent. This, I love lavender. The smell of the, the plant lavender, like the flower. Some, some things that they say lavender smell like more herbal than they do floral, so. But I like the floral. Now this one, oh. Um, it's been used quite a bit, but I want to use it up. That's how much we have in there. I hope this is coming out okay. Um, yeah, like you can see on the sides that I've been digging in there. I put this over my whole body. Um, so yeah, we're going to use this up. Ooh, <laughs> I became ghostly white. Uh, yeah, what else, what else? Okay, so for the last prompt, which is um, Skate by Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, Great, two great singers. Um, I think I'm the only one so far who knows the song and loves the song. I love Bruno Mars. Uh, this is for something that you would wear at a skating rink or while roller skating. Now, the last time I've been roller skating or went to a roller rink was back in the 80s when I was a little girl. I was there almost every weekend and on the summers, we would, like a group of friends would, like one mom would take all, all the group of us, like they'd take turns to take the kids to the roller rink and we'd get to spend like an hour or two at the roller rink. I was one of those kids that could just go woo woo, woo like round and round as fast as I could be. However, I could not stop because <laughs> every time I tried to use that front brake, I would fly forward. That's not fun. So I would go right for the wall, like go boom and hold on and be like feet go out underneath me. Yeah, it was a sight every single time. And the times my mom would be there, she'd be like, don't go so fast because I would slam into a wall to stop. She couldn't roller skate. The one time we had the whole ring to ourselves. I remember this. This was so, I, I love this memory. Um, my parents are divorced since I was six, so my dad would take me to the roller ring sometimes, my mom would take me, then friends, my parents would take me, but my mom worked a lot. She had two jobs, so when we had time, just the two of us go do something fun, I, I have every one of those memories stuck in my head like it was yesterday. The one time we went, she used to only just sit and just watch me, you know, like drink a soda while I'm out there skating with other people well this one time we went it was in the afternoon and there was nobody there we had the whole rink to ourselves and I was like come on mom get on some skates and skate with me and she's like Amy I can't I, I will fall and get hurt and we can't afford that blah 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 and I was like please mom I will stay by your side and you can hang on to the wall the whole time so she did and she held on, held on to the wall the whole time, but she also started feeling comfortable enough to hold on to my shoulders while I was in front of her. And I just basically skated and she just rolled along. And we went around a few times. And then she finally was like, okay, I had enough. I'm going to sit down. But that was like the best moment. Like, I, I can't explain it. It was just... It was such a great moment for mother-daughter, you know, like my mom trusted me. I was just a little girl at the time. I think I was probably like 
nine or ten at the time and like that felt so good that I was like I'm doing something for my mom and she's like you know I grew up fast because I was you know in a in a divorced family and my mom had to work so much so I was home alone a lot I she also taught me how to do the checkbook real young and like I knew how to budget and all that so like my mom did a lot for me and even as a young child I knew how much she was sacrificing for me so when I had those moments where I could do something for her bring her joy get her to just let go and have fun it it stays with me to this day and I, I'm getting emotional so I'm gonna stop basically this prompt brought me some great memories so thank you Mari and I'm gonna bring in the one thing that I used when I was young back in the 80s and that was a lip smacker but my lip smacker was always a Dr. Pepper unfortunately I don't have one of those right now I only have a cherry coke and as you can see it's well loved it's been living in my purse um this is the only lip smacker I still have if I ever whenever I'm in a store and I find the Dr. Pepper one I always get that one my aunt Pat when I was little had that big thick one do you guys remember that one they're like this round and they're like long they're huge and I always was like, hey, Pat, can I wear your, your Dr. Pepper lip snagger? <laughs> so this is all I have left. I want to use it up. Um, this is a little old. Still smells like Cherry Coke, though. Um, it's been living in the bottom of my purse, so I keep forgetting to use it. I used to have tons of these everywhere. Please go down. Please go down. Okay, there we go. Uh, but I haven't used it in forever, so now I'm going to be able to use it. And every time I use it, I'll have a good memory. So that is my last pro uh, product for this project. I'm so excited to be a part of this one. And um, I'm hoping that I'll be able to move through these a little, little quicker than I do with my other projects. But if I don't, it's okay. I'm hoping that it'll be all right for me to go as long as I have to, to hit every prompt. I want to give love to each song, to each um, prompt that Mari came up with. She's a great... Uh, supporter for the the community and if you're lucky enough to have her rooting you on then you understand how important she is to me we started chatting back and forth in comments and we've realized that we have a lot in common and that just makes me feel even like more closer to her I to me I consider you a friend Mari we might you might not feel the same but I feel like we're, we're becoming new friends and I feel very blessed to have you on my side cheering me on on all of my videos. I hope you realize how big of a impact you put on, give people with each comment you give and um, how, how important you are in this world. Because I can tell it's not just here in this community. You're probably like this in life itself with anybody you come in contact with. And we need more people like you. So that's all I'm going to... I'm just going to stop gushing. I'm getting sappy. <laughs> uh, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Sorry I rambled a lot. Uh, also, if you want to see how I do in this project and in my other projects, please hit that subscribe button. Once again, thank you and I hope you have a wonderful day.